According to Gartner, the Internet of Things, IoT, is the network of physical objects that contain embedded technology to communicate and sense or interact with their internal states or their external environment. Okay, that's a lot to take on board, but what does it actually mean? Well, the Internet of Things is about connected sensors and devices that capture, transmit and can analyze data to add value to the customer. These devices are also known as things, hence the name Internet of Things, IoT. Now, some devices are connected to a human, such as your smartphone. But in IoT, the Internet of Things, we also have devices that are connected to other devices and they don't rely on humans to oversee or have some human intervention. Let's take an example. Imagine you're operating a cold storage factory and the temperature outside increases and increases on a very hot day. Well, your sensors in your system are able to monitor your cold storage device and the ambient temperature outside to be able to then adjust the temperature controls downward to keep the area chilled. This all is done by the devices and the systems itself rather than needing a human to do it manually. So Internet of Things is also really, really big in terms of utilities, so managing power plants and factories, and also physical security, which is keeping your buildings and your factory and your premises safe. We're also seeing further big growth in the future in building automation, production, and even in automotive. So let's get a little bit deeper into IoT and look at some concepts around centralized versus edge computing. Now, according to Gartner, edge computing is part of a distributed computing technology where information processing is located close to the edge, where the things and people produce or consume that information. So edge computing means that data processing occurs close to where the data is actually captured. Let's take an example to illustrate. An autonomous vehicle captures and processes key information on board and in real time, rather than sending it all to an external cloud for processing, because this can allow the machine, allow the vehicle to actually transfer and process that data internally and in real time, because it could be, trans it could be moving at speed and fast response times are required. So there are also several risks then we need to consider, such as privacy and security with the Internet of Things in general. But for those concerns, there are also significant advantages and benefits to businesses using IoT, such as to identify damage or theft on their premises, to improve the efficiency of their organization by reducing inventory or stock holding. They can also create new business opportunities for products or services. Also, there are significant cost savings that can be realized using predictive maintenance for your plant and machinery so you don't have downtime on some of those machines and assets. Also, you can have increased asset use utilization to decrease that downtime. And finally, updates can be pushed to your software to keep it all running smoothly. So, if you want to learn more about emerging technology or digital transformation, feel free to contact me. And remember, Digital transformation is about more than technology. It is about leaders with the foresight to see change and the courage to reinvent their organization before others force them to.